Namatu Ratana Tayasa. May I pay homage to Triple Gem, the Buddha, Dhamma, and the Sangha. My respect goes to my parents and my teachers. Hello, good evening once again. Today is Saturday, 25th April 2020. I am Achan Sujan from Warapunya Meditation Center, Aberdeen. To be here with you as a friend and delivering some of the news or reflections. Oh. We are not uh, disconnecting each other. Although we have to keep the self distance, but we are connecting. Uh, we are connecting each other. We do not let everyone or anyone to stay alone. So, with this in mind, I'm here every night. Tonight, my mind is very busy and a uh, little bit stressed because I wanted to have a shower after uh, working in the garden and uh, I realized there is a problem. One of the taps in one of the toilets the leaking and now I wanted to stop it but while I was trying it somehow it turns half past six. So probably after meditation it will go back again to find out how can I stop the water and possibly calling a plumber to change the tap and uh, fix it. It is quite uh, interesting. Huh? So anyway, uh, I'm here now to be with you all to talk and to share and reflect on it. As I said, although we are isolating ourselves, but we are not keeping the distance. We are here with you. Yeah? I am here with you, extra one or activity to join with you all. Before go on to other things, I would like to read out some of the reflections uh, and some of the feedbacks that I received uh, from previous uh, previous nights. Hello, Sarala, Rev. Yeah. And the one particular one came from Australia. Yeah. So one came from Australia and uh, saying that because of the uh, time uh, distance and uh, different times uh, she is not following uh, on live uh, but she normally follows according to her sister-in-law uh, told her to follow because of her health condition and self-isolating she really wanted to have a meditation sessions and now she's following uh, meditation guidance and which has uh, given her support and it's uh, he says I cannot join to this program live because of time difference but I'm listening to your videos next day your teachings help me a lot overcome from my stress so and saying thank you very much so this is from Australia and I also got a message from India saying that um, this situation although it's again a time zone is different uh, following following day they're listening the talks and a reflection and a meditation it is also helping uh, her to practice uh, the meditation and uh, dealing with this uh, isolation uh, time which is kind of extra activity she has got to join with 
There's another uh, reflection, uh, uh, feedback came from London saying that it's uh, helpful to deal with a uh, difficult time and particularly this situation as uh, the so stressful and uh, uncertainty that is causing uh, uh, distress. The following the talks and meditation is really helping to cope and finding very helpful. So these are some of the uh, feedbacks that I received. Uh, so thank you very much for all those uh, feedbacks and also glad to hear that it is helping you. Meanwhile, I also like to extend my uh, appreciation to the uh, member from Jersey who offered 50 pounds for the center's expense and also along with that she uh, offered handmade masks for the monks and members at the center uh, 10 of them uh, 10 or 15 in the meantime, uh, one of my friends, a uh, long friend from Switzerland, also offered uh, 50 Swiss francs for the center's uh, expenses. So thank you very much uh, for all those uh, supports and uh, help. And uh, also, regularly, members are coming to drop off uh, food and other necessary items to the center. Also, would like to thank you all. Right, so today is a Saturday, and I hope that you all having a wonderful time at home. Despite of uh, a sad news in the UK that over twenty thousand people have lost uh, their lives due to the coronavirus, and uh, meanwhile the numbers it seems is still increasing and which again not included those who passed away uh, in the care homes and others what is quite uh, distressing to me what when i read the news that over uh, over thousand uh, 1500 around 1500 13 or 1500 children were sexually abused in this time and this is quite uh, sad news and uh, uh, very sad to hear that children are uh, sexually abused uh, during this such a uh, uh, uncertain and difficult situation. I hope that uh, those who are listening would introduce or help them to practice at least of five precepts so that uh, they will be able to be more mindful of their action and living a ethical life to help to deal this uncertain difficult crisis situation and also helping children uh, or giving them a good comfort and the confidence to be with around with the people around and the second thing which is also uh, quite uh, stressful and quite uh, sad to hear uh, and I think we should be uh, visible uh, what's called uh, vigilant as well that uh, Home Secretary uh, announced that the uh, different types of uh, uh, crimes increased uh, and which is also quite a, a bit a scary one too as I mentioned last week that what Buddhism has to offer during this crisis that if everyone soundly practicing at least of a five precepts then I believe that these little items or little cri uh, crimes uh, whether it is domestic or whether it is uh, non-domestic crimes will definitely increase and creating the harmony and uh, safeguarding uh, the members of the public and otherwise you know again this is quite sad that those people uh, taking this opportunity to uh, violate and create this harmony in the society 
so this is quite sad to hear and i hope that uh, if those who are listening or have some sort of uh, understanding of a uh, five precepts will help them to grow and uh, help them to be more sensible and uh, uh, ability to feel others pain as well as theirs too so which will help to keep us all safe and also yeah, everyone feel safe and this needs to be done uh, i would say and this is quite uh, uh, important in this crisis time and, and we do not know how long it's going to take and if there are a group of people if uh, creating such crimes or such uh, abuse uh, around at home and outside and then the situation will get worse and worse so i hope that uh, we together can help to reduce uh, and clear our mind so that is all what i can say at this moment on top of that because of the spread of the virus not stopped here in the uk and increased uh, day by day all the members should be careful and whatever whatever you do uh, be mindful and uh, you know, uh, follow all the measures that the government has uh, laid down so uh, this is what I think I would like to tell you uh, to begin with when we look at this obviously as a human being uh, we would like to have a, a good securities in different forms before the crisis came the pandemic came we were uh, conscious about different types of insurances in our life so that's why some people will go to buy uh, life insurances and some people will go and uh, travel insurance home insurance so and so particularly in the uk we have to buy all sorts of uh, insurance to keep us safe in different times and these insurances again uh, according to what the buddha's uh, philosophy or teachings what we can find that there are three types of uh, securities that we can uh, think of or uh, look for each one each individual in the world the first security that we seek is the social security and the social security that's why people will go and try to stay in an environment which is quite uh, good and there is a morally pra moral practices and ethical livings uh, and that's why people will move around from one place to another uh, seeking a good place to stay and this is a buddha called patirupa desa vaso cha etang mangala mutamang which means finding a suitable place to live which secures our security is one of the highest blessings so that's why having a good environment a suitable place is very very important and that gives us peace of mind and there will be no crimes there will be no uh, such things that uh, causes any harms of going out or uh, leaving doors open and which again if if uh, we remember back in uh, when we were a child all doors were open and every child will go and play together whereas now because of the media because of the uh, the development of modernity children are isolated uh, home to home even the streets empty with the children and that's simply because the social security gone down uh, so despite of that again still in uk we have a uh, some sort of a secu uh, social security in different forms uh, social security for the vulnerable people disabled people uh, children and uh, 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 senior citizens and also a good policing uh, soundly good policing and sort of things 
and then despite of that again there are other social securities that people can look for help and I think that is one of the reasons why uh, from uh, the people from all around the world would like to come and stay or join uh, the UK and that's all uh, that is the social security that people will seek for and a second so a second security that people uh, look for is the financial security and financial security is again one of the very important uh, uh, factors in our life to have it and uh, that's why we travel from one place to another or uh, people will travel and migrate from different place to another place simply looking for the financial security which will help their life better and also their family so they can feed the family and relatives so that is the reason why there are mass migrations throughout the year and throughout the history uh, which never will end and will continue whether we like it or not there will always be a mass uh, migration going on uh, and this is simply for the uh, economical security even this time of a crisis there are people uh, from Eastern Europe came to UK simply to feed the UK citizens the people living in the UK uh, to to collect the uh, all the vegetables and working in the farms so that's also in a way we are looking for the security here from the social security that the government is or the, the government is providing the, all the vegetables uh, in the market and in the meantime the Eastern European uh, people that doors are coming to work in the farm again they're coming for the economical uh, security in their life look at ourselves as well individual we came uh, to different countries uh, simply to find a good job and will have a good uh, money uh, that will support our comfortable life and also life of our families and that's uh, uh, the second security that uh, people will seek for and, uh, and another reason that people will move from one job to another or changing a job after another uh, again simply to find the job that pays well and which will help them to manage uh, their life uh, family matters ability to pay all the bills as well as uh, some form of a comfort uh, they could gain from that work and there's another reason why people when they are working they would like to buy a pensions uh, so that uh, when they become a pensioner they can rely on that pensions for some form of a financial security a peace of mind uh, when nothing uh, no nothing can be done so there is a money sitting for that time meanwhile we every one of us will save some form of a uh, isa or uh, budgets for the future security in you know, financial security so that's why the second security is also another one factor that we seek for in our life but if we have these two securities in our life and we feel content and happy with it there is another security that we seek for is the spiritual security and this spiritual security is not just comforting in this life but also guiding for the next life it doesn't matter which religious belief that we have we all have the thought of a spiritual security that's the reason why uh, people turn to the religious beliefs in some form of a spirituality thinking that that will give a spiritual security some sec uh, some spiritual security uh, some people will turn to tastic spiritual comfort and others will find other spiritual guides and that's simple that to find spiritual support 
during uh, this time this life and then to the next time next life a buddhism gave different uh, views on the spiritual security buddhism gave a view that gives us a very uh, self-reliant and resilient and also give us a, a power and strength to ourselves to create the spiritual security on the basis of understanding the true nature understanding the reality as it is rather than depending depending on external objects or external things such as the god or yeah some form of a heavens whereas buddha's uh, teachings is simply to understand the reality as it is uh, that nothing remains the same and everything changes and with that when we have uh, through understanding we will have the true refuse and that refuse will give us true uh, security of our mind so that's why in buddhism it's always thought that this is not just a, a life that we have we have lived hundreds and thousands of lives in the past and then this is just a one of it and we do not know that how many lives that we have to reborn again and again in the future so along this way all what we are doing in this time as we are conscious is simply to perfect our perfections to generate our spiritual security with true understanding right understanding and with this right understanding we will have a right attitude towards ourselves towards the nature towards the people towards the humanity and all the whole uh, whole sense and beings we will be not differentiating one race to another one nation to another one clan to another but we will take it as a simply you and me a human being we all have the same blood the red blood we all eat we all have a flesh we all um, breed in this way we will not be differentiating one another but creating an understanding each other with that right understanding we creating our safeguard as well as other safeguard so with this what we are doing is we are having a spiritual security while we are alive in this life and also that will secure our spiritual next life too because as i have said in previous talks if we want to know the past and know what we are now and if we want to know the future know that what we are doing so we are the result of our past actions that we have performed and it's up to us that what we want to be in the future whatever we do now in this moment in this present time will define the future existence future destiny so the security that we are looking for is we create our own security in terms of a spiritual security so whatever you do now that defines your destiny is on your hand how you want to create how you want it to be so with that that's why buddha simply said that buddha is just a pathfinder giving you a guidance to find the right path to find this right spiritual guide that will comfort you in this life and as well as comforting the following lives so i offer this as a reflection for tonight on the saturday night and uh, may you be happy well and safe and take care of yourself and during this uh, pandemic crisis and look after yourself uh, whatever ways that you can keep yourself safe do so uh, but if you cannot and you still got it then again do not be uh, too much on to yourself 
stay and use that time as a, a crucial time and spend and thinking of all the good things that you have done and mindfully aware of the present moment that you are in. Forget about all the negativities. Think about the state of the mind that you have. So with this, I end for tonight. And as, I, as usual, if you have anything that you would like to share, please do so. And if you have any questions to ask again, please post it too. And again, we will have the uh, evening chanting and as well as the guided meditation at half past seven. Uh, you are most welcome to join uh, those guided meditation. Tonight, I would like you to bring a cup of tea uh, for the guided meditation at half seven. And if not, you're, if you are not following uh, these uh, two sessions, then we'll see you tomorrow at half past six. So with this, may the Buddha bless you. Take care. Good night.